In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for NiCl2 plus Na2CO3. This is nickel 2 chloride and this is sodium carbonate. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations is we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. And it looks like all we need to do is put a 2 in front of the NaCl. So this is now balanced. Once we've done that, we can go on and write the states for each of the substances. These are going to be in water. Chlorides, very soluble, so that'll be aqueous. So when it's in water, it's going to split apart into its ions. Sodium carbonate, sodium compounds, very soluble, so aqueous as well. Carbonates, they're usually not soluble, except for group 1 metals. So nickel is not a group 1 metal. This is a transition metal. So this is going to be a solid. That means that it's going to precipitate out. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube, and it'll be a solid in our net ionic equation. Chlorides and sodium compounds, both of those, very soluble. So we're at AQ, that'll dissociate into the ions. So now we have the states for things. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes up into their ions. So for something like nickel chloride, if we look at the periodic table chlorides, they have a 1 minus ionic charge. And we can tell that the nickel here, it's going to have to be 2 plus. We have 2 times 1 minus, that'd be 2 minus. Balance out with a 2 plus. So we've got our charges here. So we can say we have nickel 2 plus, and I won't write the AQ after everything. Let's do that at the end. And then I have the Cl minus, the chloride ion, but this subscript, that means I have two of them. So we'll put a 2 as our coefficient there. Sodium's in group 1, so it has a positive charge. Carbonate, probably pretty good to remember, it has a 2 minus. So we have the sodium ion, Na plus. Again, we have two of those, so we can put a 2 in there. Plus, we have the carbonate ion, CO3, 2 minus. Those are the reactants. For the products, in a net ionic equation, we don't split solids apart. It's at the bottom of the test tube, so it's not split apart there, and we won't split it apart in our net ionic equation. So we just write NiCO3. That's our nickel carbonate. Then we have sodium, we said is positive. Chloride ion is negative. Two sodium ions and then two chloride ions. This two applies to everything. So now we have our reactants and our products. This is our complete ionic equation. Sometimes it's called our total ionic equation. So next, we'll cross out spectator ions. These are ions that are on both sides of the equation here. They didn't change, so we're just going to cancel them out. For example, we have this chloride, two chloride ions. We have two chloride ions here in the products. We'll just cross those out. In the reactants, we have two sodium ions, and we have two sodium ions here in the products. Cross them out. That leaves us with the net ionic equation. We have this nickel 2 ion, carbonate ion, and then we have our solid nickel carbonate, nickel 2 carbonate here in the products. So I'll clean this up, and I'll add in the states for each one of these substances here, and we'll have a very tidy net ionic equation for NiCl2 plus Na2CO3. So this is our net ionic equation for nickel 2 chloride plus sodium carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.